Taking action tonight for your children, the Hillsboro School Board trying to figure out how to evaluate Superintendent Jeff Akins after firing former Superintendent Mary Ellen Elia back in January. As ABC Action News reporter Lauren Rosella tells us, the district needs some work. The school board promised changes after firing the last superintendent, and now they may use this report highlighting some weaknesses within the district to judge the new one. The school board put Superintendent Jeff Eakins in his new role in March and vowed to hold him to tough standards. He has to tackle the eighth largest school district in the nation. There's a lot of room for improvement. The communication, being um, transparent and open and often. In February, a review team came in to look at the district's accreditation status. This 60-page report reveals below average scores in nearly every testing category, with the lowest scores in digital learning. Excerpts of the report show most students observed by the external review team did not use technology resources, nor were students using computers for research, gathering information, creating solutions, or collaborating. It's a problem Eakins is tasked with fixing. Another area of concern is student engagement. The review team found kids in high-level classes were doing well, but kids in regular or lower-level classes were not engaged. But Eakins has only been on the job a few months, and he'll have some time to make changes. I think a year is fair for anybody on a new job to have a learning curve. The school board evaluates the superintendent every six months, and so his first evaluation should be within the next few weeks. In Tampa, Lauren Rosella, ABC Action News.